Welcome back to Chasing Redline. This is going to be a multi-part series to help you get your bike ready for riding season. Today we are going to do a spark plug replacement on a Victory Cross Country. Recommendations vary widely on how often these should be replaced. The owner's manual recommends replacing spark plugs every 30,000 miles. If you suspect that corrosion has occurred, it would be appropriate to replace them more often. For this job, you're going to need the following. A set of bent tip long nose pliers, anti-seize, dielectric grease, a spark plug socket with extension, and a ratchet. A torque wrench, and an air compressor. You'll also need a spark plug gap tool and spark plugs. I will be installing the Victory OEM plugs which are manufactured by NGK. And most importantly, you'll need a bottle opener and a beverage of your choice. Today, I'll be drinking Voodoo Ranger Imperial IPA by New Belgium Brewing. First, we are going to reference our owner's manual for two important pieces of information. We will identify the recommended spark plug gap and take note of the torque range. This will be important later. Now let's check our spark plug gaps. Remove your spark plugs from their packaging. Use the gap tool to measure the gap as shown and ensure the reading is within recommendations listed in the owner's manual. These are typically within spec from the factory but you always want to verify before installation. Make sure your engine is at room temperature. We will start by using the bent tip long nose pliers to grip the boot of the spark plug wire. We will grip as low as possible to avoid damage to the boot. Here you will see me using a carpenter's pencil to prevent metal on metal contact while gently prying the boot upward using the plier bend as leverage. Now that the boot is removed, let's inspect it. Ensure that there are no visible signs of wear or cracking. This one looks good. Prior to removing the plug, use an air compressor to blow out the area. This will remove any debris and reduce the chance that contaminants will enter the engine. Use a spark plug socket with extension and ratchet to remove the existing spark plug. This is what 30,000 miles looks like when you don't always blow out the water from your spark plug well. Pro tip, always blow the water out of your spark plug well. Take your new plug and apply a bead of anti-seize to the threads. Use your finger to spread the bead around the threads while avoiding the last one or two threads. There is a healthy amount of debate on whether to use anti-seize on modern spark plugs. The Victory Owner's Manual will instruct you to use anti-seize. NGK's website will instruct you not to use anti-seize. I am opting to install it. Insert your new spark plugs into the spark plug socket. The socket should grasp the plug using the internal grommet. This will allow you to lower the plug into the well using the socket and the extension. Using your hands, thread the spark plug while being careful not to cross thread. There shouldn't be any real force required for this, so if it feels like you are cross threading, you likely are. Hand tighten the spark plug, which should require several turns to hit bottom. Configure your torque wrench to the specifications noted earlier in the owner's manual. I have elected to set mine to 12 foot-pounds, which is within the identified range. Proceed with tightening the spark plug.
place a small amount of dielectric grease in the boot opening and reconnect the boot by pressing downward over the plug. You should notice a tactile bump which will let you know that the boot is seated. Once this is completed, repeat all of these steps to replace the other plug. Congratulations on your hard work, now it's time to start the bike and hit the road.